Ladies, so this video is going to be a one week update on this hair. I can't believe that it's been one week already that I've been rocking this hair. But um, if you watched my other video um, of the initial install, then you would have known that I have four bundles of hair. And this hair is from Hair RS. And I have a 16, 18, 20, and 24 inch um, in this hair. So it is fairly long, if you can see, and quite full. And I'm actually doing this video after I have actually worked out yesterday worked out this morning, applied no product to this hair, did nothing to my closure. This is what the hair looks like. So this is after actually not even tying my hair down last night because I fell asleep. But um, <clears throat> this is the hair in its natural state. This is, there's no product in here at all, not even water. It's kind of dry right now um, and a little bit frizzy, but this is basically the hair in its natural state. And I wanted to come on camera and show you um, and this entire week, I've actually been wearing this hair um, not in its natural state. So I wanted to kind of show it to you in its natural state because I have yet to kind of wear it like this. Um, I'm kind of able to give you a little bit more of a full product review now because I did work out in this hair twice and this hair holds up to sweat perfectly. Um, a little bit of a change from the last video. I did switch my part. My part was on this side last time. Switch it over to this side, actually made it a deeper part, so it's actually a little bit lower um, on my head than it was on this side. So still the same closure, everything. Um, my hair blends actually really well with this, but I did kind of slick my edges down just a little bit. Um, I have not blended this closure. Right now it's just kind of straight. It has a little bit of a wave on the end, but I haven't blended it at all. So this is everything in its natural state. I've done nothing. Um, in my last video, you also know that um, the hair company Hair or Us um, said to use Hello Hydration from Herbal Essence to moisturize the hair. I did co-wash the hair with the Hello Hydration. After that, I did wet the hair um, and then add the Hello Hydration to the hair to keep it soft and supple. I will let you know the Hello Hydration does leave a little bit of product buildup on the hair. So I have discontinued using that um, for everyday use. I will continue to co-wash with it, but not for every day. The only thing I've been putting on my hair is water. That is it. That's all. Um, this hair does still feel really soft, but time and time again, you will start to start to feel it get a little bit dry. Um, and all I do, honestly, is still just put water on it. I don't really put any product in the hair because I don't like the way that it feels after it's all kind of icky. And if you can see right here, this hair has tangled up quite a bit. Um, it is tangling, but once again, it's curly hair, so I don't expect it not to tangle. Um, next thing as far as shedding, this hair has shed. It has. I'm not even going to sit here and pretend to you. It does shed. Um, right now, I think I got three strands of hair. Try to get as close as I can if you can even see that. Three strands. Um, it sheds. It's not crazy, but it does shed. Um, as far as tangling, it does tangle. Um, another thing I noticed with this hair is I've noticed a lot of little gray hairs, like gray or blonde hairs, um, just throughout, just kind of detangling and whatever. I've noticed these little gray hairs, and that drives me crazy because I see that in um, store-bought hair that you can go to the store and purchase. So I didn't expect to see that in this hair, but I have been seeing it. So it's just a little... It's not a big deal to me, but I've just been seeing it a lot. Like I've probably pulled out about 10 to 12 strands already. Aside from that, after working out with this hair, my scalp was extremely itchy. And if you guys follow me, you know I wear wigs and weaves and braids and everything all the time. So my scalp has never been that itchy before. I mean, it was like on fire, I felt like. I'm hoping it's not from this hair, but I don't know. But after I um, worked out last night and worked out this morning, all I did was actually take a no rinse shampoo. Um, this one is from Clean Life Products, and I actually purchased this a long time ago from a hair supply store, so I'm not sure if this brand is even around, but they have a ton of no rinse shampoos. And it's best to have it with a nozzle, which this one has like this, so you can just squeeze it up um, instead of the spray because the point of the no rinse shampoos is it dries out the scalp. When your scalp is typically moist or wet, it tends to, once the sweat dries, it starts to itch. 
So the point of it is not to get it on your hair and to actually just get it on your parts. And then it will try to alleviate some of that um, itchiness that you can feel. Um, tomorrow, I'll probably be purchasing some sea breeze astringent um, and tea tree oil if I can find it. And those actually help with itchy scalp. So I will be utilizing those. Um, my wig I can't take off because I did sew the perimeter onto my scalp, but I will be going in between um, my cap and just kind of applying product where I need to. And if it gets really bad, I will just cut these little strings off my cap and I will lift this sucker up and I will make sure my scalp is good. Um, but that is the only negative that I've seen really with this hair aside from detangling. Um, I probably will not detangle with a wide tooth comb anymore. I will just finger detangle. And I've actually watched a couple of ladies videos on curly hair in general not this brand um and they finger detangle and they said it helps a lot with the shedding um and also just the tangling that you get with curly hair so as you can see i'm kind of just picking apart the curls um, as far as maintaining my closure and if you have any leave out, the best suggestion I can give you is to actually braid this hair. I know in my last video I talked about two strand twisting it. I did two strand twist this the first day I had it in and the next day it gave me this really loose wave which I did not want and that's not what I purchased this hair for. So I was a little disappointed in that. So you actually, if you want this thicker curl pattern, you have to braid the hair to get it to look like this. The next thing is don't forget about your ends. And I know mine look kind of crispy and dry right now, but when you're going to sleep, definitely braid up your ends if you want to do that. This hair does look gorgeous in a Bantu knot style, but suggestion if you're going to Bantu knot your hair, I would part it in half this way, do Bantu knots on the bottom and Bantu knots on the top, and then of course Bantu knot your closure or your leave out, then in the morning everything will be exactly the same. I actually tried to Bantu knot my closure and then I just left the ends braided and I had two totally different curl patterns and it didn't look good. So I'm just giving you a little tip um, if you plan on doing that. Um, trying to think of anything else I need to tell you. Um, biggest thing is just no product on the hair for me, just water only, finger detangle, and this hair is still soft and supple. I haven't washed this hair yet. I'll probably give it another week before I wash it. Um, but I am working out pretty hardcore, trying to work out about five or six days a week. Um, sometimes I work out twice a day. So this hair is taking a beating. So thus, it is kind of dry right now, but the curls are still gorge. And I did go out without doing anything to this hair just like this. So I love it. And I will keep you guys posted on what happens next with this hair. Thanks for watching.